the LED here, it's pixel design. If you charge this car for five minutes, it, can, it will give you 86 kilometers of range. This is not the touchpad actually. This is actually the place, it's showing you where you have to press. Very, you have very a... unique thing in this car. Look at this line. This is the 45 degree angle. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum people. I'm Corked. You're watching a car review and this is the Ionic 5, the futuristic Ionic 5 from Hyundai. This was shown in the motor show in 2021 and from 2020 onwards the production started. This Ionic is inspired by the Hyundai Pony that was produced by Hyundai from 1975 to 1990 and this is the beautiful futuristic crossover SUV for you guys from Hyundai. So I have borrowed this beautiful Ionic 5 from Sama Al Sham. They are used car collectors and these kind of unique car collectors in Sharjah. You can visit their showroom if you need anything, any used car in a good rate. You can say my name and get a reasonable discount. So let's talk about the price. You got different prices for different variants. You got rear wheel drive with the standard motor. You got rear wheel drive with the, with the more horsepower. And you got a dual motor all-wheel drive with the 321 horsepower that I'll explain you later what power and what battery options you have but the price starts from $41,450 it can jump up to $56,500 in UAE you can get this thing in 170,000 UAE dirhams it can jump up to 214,000 UAE dirhams with the top of the range model so let's open the hood of this Ionic 5 and let's see what runs this beautiful Ionic 5. This is a fully electric car. You don't have engine. You have battery options in this one. And battery options in different variants have different powers. So you have 58 kilowatt hour battery up to 77.4 kilowatt hour battery in different variants. You got three different variants. One is the rear wheel drive with 170 horsepower. The horsepower starts from 170 up to 321 so the rear wheel drive standard have 170 horsepower then you have rear wheel drive with more horsepower then you have the dual motor with 321 horsepower that's a very quick actually it jumps from 0 to 100 in 5.1 second the dual motor the rear motor the slowest one the standard one it jumps from 0 to 100 in 8.1 second let me show you this storage. This is actually a storage compartment. And it's written EV electric vehicle. If you forgot that this is fully electric vehicle. So you got 57 liters of capacity front here because this is the rear motor, rear wheel drive. So you got 57 liters of capacity if you have a dual motor. So because of the components, this capacity decreases and it is up to 24 liters of capacity. Some more interesting features and quick features. If you charge this car for five minutes, it, can, it will give you 86 kilometers of range or 10 to 80% of battery in 18 minutes or 375 kilometers of range in half an hour. Believe me, it's so quickly charged. So the front look of the Ionic 5, they have a pixels theme. So this headlight, headlamp is called parametric pixel design parametric pixel design <laughs> nice so if you see inside the lights even the material that is used it's plastic or whatever it's also in the pixel design the led here it's pixel design the headlamps this is the full beam this is the low beam even the grill at the front this is actually not a grill this is a futuristic kind of a panel grill so this is also the pixel design so everything here is a pixel design the Hyundai logo the lights at the side this is a strip in the center it looks from the far that it has a nose like a corner but it is it doesn't have it it's straight from here you got some sensors this is the indicators the turn signals and this is the front look of futuristic I Ionic okay. 5 the side look of the Ionic 5 the futuristic design of this one i like it very much got tires look at the wheel design the futuristic the wheel arches look at this one why they can't make it straight because they want to give a futuristic look 
Look at the turn signals on the, the side door mirrors. Pixels all over in some of the cars in different um, locations. You can you have the option to just remove the, the side mirrors for the cameras. You have screen inside, it will give you that view, the blind spot view. You don't need the side mirror to see at the back. The handles, how they pop out, look at this one. They pop out like that when you unlock the car. And one very, very unique thing in this car, look at this line. This is the 45 degree angle that's very much visible from all angles from the side and very unique thing in this ionic 5 i have never seen anything in any car like that a very unique design it's really looking amazing the black touch over here the back wheel and the crossover they have a disadvantage that the roof they don't have that much space inside but this one it's amazing when you sit inside i'll let you, i'll explain you have plenty of space because the roof is high from the back and you got a spoiler with the light, brake light at the back. This is the futuristic side look of the Ionic 5. So the back look of the Ionic 5, look at this Ionic 5 logo here and you got pixels, pixels, pixels all over. Parametric pixel design, tail limbs as well. Look at this thing. When you press the brake, this all light up, this light up. These are the uh, turn signals, reverse light and this is the futuristic back look of this ionic 5 you got some sensors and a shark fin how you open the tailgate you have button at the remote you got the pad here press it and you got button at the side uh, near your near the steering you got so you can press it and you can open this thing this is a 531 liters of capacity but you can increase this thing to 1600 liters by folding these second row seats and also, if you have some small things, you can keep under this cover here. You can just remove it as well. How you close it? Press this button and it will close like that automatically. So there you go. There is a charging port of this car. How you can open and close this thing. You got pixels here. Five pixels. This is not the touchpad actually. This is actually the place. It's showing you where you have to press. You have a button inside, so you have to press it a little hard, so it will open like that. And you can put on your charging cables here and in the slot. One more interesting option, you can charge your phone, you can use your toaster, and you can use uh, your coffee machine ETC from this port, because this is an output source as well. So you connect it, remove this thing from here, put your toaster in here, put your charger, you can charge your phone, make coffee, toast, anything you want. So when you're done with the toasting coffee and charging everything, you can remove this thing like that. And how you close this, close like that. So that's how you open and close this charging port here. So Bismillah Rahman Rahim, we are inside the Ionic 5 and look at this thing. You have a space everywhere. This is a flat floor with a three meters long wheelbase actually and gave the engineers to achieve this thing look at me the sliding console like you can slide it back in front here anyways look at this thing you have a glass panel with the two 12 inch screens infotainment uh, info uh, gauge cluster and the infotainment screen this is the steering wheel a very strange thing every car you sit in and look at the steering wheel you will see the logo of the brand but here it's a different thing you got pixels small four pixels on the steering wheel at the center so you don't have any logo of hyundai on the steering wheel a very nice small steering wheel with the buttons on it uh, in uh, on it touch pads on the left and right both sides drive mode options this is the gauge cluster let me explain you how it works these are the buttons in the gauge clusters. First of all, let me explain you the drive modes. You have a drive mode button and it's a strange thing. Why? Because you can rotate in different cars to select the drive mode, but not in this high end ionic. Have to press it, it will go in the eco. Press it again, it will go in the normal. Press it again, it will go in the sports mode. But the graphics on it is like an open book, like that. So the graphics are 
almost similar. The book is almost similar, but some of the details change when you select the different modes. And you keep on holding, 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 and it will shift into the snow mode. <laughs> okay, uh, these, these are the dry mode options. You got buttons over here. You can select modes. Press on the modes, the radio will switch on, uh, the Bluetooth and apps and all that. And uh, you got voice command option. You can select the volume from here. Scroll this thing to show you more technical details over there. From the right side, right buttons, you can go on to the menu of this infotainment uh, gauge cluster, actually. Uh, you can go select different uh, options like the warnings. It's showing me now the tire pressure is low. Then scroll down here. It will show you some other uh, driver assistance options and go on to the map. It will show you map and different things that you can see on the gauge cluster itself related to the uh, informative things here. We'll move on to the uh, infotainment screen here. You got big 12 inch infotainment screen. Click on the EV. Actually, this is the home screen. This is the home screen. You have a Ionic 5 here and it's showing you the battery. That's it. You're going to just slide it to the left. It will show you all the options, the apps. Click on the EV, it will show you your car, your battery percentage, the range, everything. The map, it will convert into all the map, navigation, phone, phone projection, voice, memo, climate. So you have two ways to control your climate. One is to clicking on the screen and the other one is down here. So I'll explain you later. But you can control from the screen as well. Warmer ventilation. You don't have the ventilation direct button on the screen here or here. Have to click inside the screen, touch it, and then you can adjust your ventilation of warmer seats. Memory seats, wallet, Hyundai CarPlay, radio, and all the options are there here in this screen. Moving down here, you got a climate control option. This is the start stop button in electric car. Just have to press it and it's on. Live. Press it again, it's off. So you have the climate control options here and you have some buttons here click on this one the radio will switch on the map click on map it will convert into the map navigation and uh, media you have uh, the button that you can uh, go directly onto this uh, the shortcuts favorites and you can tune in with this button the frequency and this is the button that show you the camera options that i showed you in different cars the back camera bird eye view camera 3d camera and this is the parking or parking button it will assist you in parking. So this is all here. Let me show you the gear option. Uh, first of all, these are two uh, levers that is uh, controlling the lights and the wiper. This is the gear lever actually. So you have to normally pull and push it down in different cars or pull it up for reverse, not in this Hyundai Ionic. You have to just rotate it like this. It will turn into drive like this into reverse in the center neutral. And this is the parking button itself. It's a pretty easy, easy, easy. So this is all here in the Ionic 5. One more interesting option is these are not the shifting pedals. Press it, it will show you the I pedal. This is a one pedal drive option here. So when you press the accelerator, it will drive, leave it, it will brake automatically in simple words. So this is uh, not the shifting pedals. You have a very good, nice dashboard with the space here. This is the glow book compartment. It's open like a drawer and you can close it like that. The seats, very nice seats. You got op options for your uh, thigh support here, uh, sorry, leg support here. Look here, look here, look here. So you have buttons to control all this. And you can also lay down the back like that and relax in your Ionic 5, even this seat. You have buttons to control the back seats. And these seats are so thin that you have a very spacious back seat. So let's go in the back and explain you. So we are at the back seats of this Ionic 5 and believe me, they are so, so spacious. The front seats are so thinner, like they have designed it so thin that you have much space at the back here. And they are really, really nice. Automatic moving seats, you have a button at the side, look here. You can move them automatically. You can move them automatically, but only the complete seat. This part, you have a manual button. You can just move it like that, but you can move this seat automatically with the help of buttons that you have on this front seat, look here. So I'm pressing the button and this seat is moving. Even this one, I can move 
automatically. So this is amazing. Amazing. So you have very spacious back seats because the crossovers, they have a very tight room uh, on your head. But this is very, very amazing here. You got two uh, ports over here to charge your phone. Some of space for this storage, the light, the window. One disadvantage, you don't have the AC vents over here. And if you want to slide this thing, you can slide it forward. You don't have AC vents here, so it's a little hot at the back. But you have vents at the pillars here for the back passengers. It's okay. And you got the cup holders over here. That's it. So Bismillah Rahman Rahim, I'm here in the Ionic 5 and let's go for a drive of this beautiful crossover SUV from Hyundai and let's see how it is in driving now. So to be very sure that this is not a fast car, this is not sports car, but this is a modern futuristic car that Hyundai produces and let's try the drive now. Okay, because usually in electric cars, what is the problem? You hear some noises like from the tires, wind and these kind of. Okay, for now what I feel is this, the size of the car is so nice actually. And the steering wheel and the position of the seat, it's very high. The visibility is so good. Like you can see all over and you don't have any problem in the vision at all. In the back from the side and the windscreen everything is so so nice and good so i like it i like the drive till now like it's a very like a very perfect size and amazing uh, steering wheel amazing seat positions and of course you have lots of lots of uh, options for your driver assistant in some of the cars, you can uh, just put the car on the driver assistance mode and it can drive for you, it can change lanes for you and it can do so many things for you as I sh have shown you in many, many different cars. And in some cars, you have option at your remote that you can drive the car with the help of remote itself and you can take out and put the car in the parking itself if it's a uh, tight space. So this is very nice actually. So there is a little sound of the tires when you drive it on the road. And of course, all the electric cars, they have this thing. And I, I, I feel that in the very near future, they will get rid of this thing. They will have some other solution for it. Or maybe they will have some, uh, some, some of these kind of tires that they don't have noise on the road. And of course, you have the road noise as well in the electric car because there is no engine, no exhaust, nothing is running. So you have these noises this is normal in an electric car you can give an edge to this thing but other all it's a very nice drive car and a very very futuristic looking car so i pretty much like the drive of the ionic 5 actually okay and it's very nice on turns like okay very nice i'm just just pushing the accelerator and on the turns actually and the grip uh, I feel it's very nice I feel that the grip is very nice on the turns itself and I feel the car is little heavy it's not a lighter car that you can like say that oh I don't like the driver I like driving heavy cars this is small in size and it's heavy I feel that so it's a nice driving car this was the Hyundai Ionic 5. Hope you enjoyed the video. If by mistake I have given you any wrong information, my apologies for that. If you would like to see videos in Urdu language, you can subscribe to my channel. That's Corked Asia. If you have something unique that you would like me to review, you can mail me the details on this email ID. Do take care of yourself and my channel as well. Till the next video. Peace out.